Activa. It's a name synonymous with scooters in India and Honda has achieved unparalleled success in the 110cc space. But when it comes to 125cc scooters, it's the Suzuki Axis as the undisputed king of the segment. It still remains a popular scooter for Suzuki, but competition has stepped up the game and Suzuki had to respond. And it has with this, the new Bergman Street is the first maxi scooter offering from Suzuki for India. And like the Jigsaw siblings and the Intruder has been specifically developed for India. So does the new Suzuki Maxi scooter justify its premium pricing? Let's find out. The major reason for the curiosity surrounding the Bergman Street is its Maxi scooter styling. It looks good and the large proportion does make it visually appealing. The big front apron with the fly screen is the design highlight and Suzuki designers have also neatly incorporated the LED headlights and turn indicators into this panel. Moving further, the generous step seats, chunky muffler and sculpted rear panels flow well with the overall design. The rear section is also well designed with large grab handles and the handsome LED tail lights. However, the rear tire looks out of proportion and a fatter rubber would have been welcome purely for the visual effect. Before talking about features, I would like to mention the LED headlamps which offer a great throw. These are easily among the best LED headlights in the affordable two-wheeler segment. Also, the LED position lamps surrounding the outer edge of the headlamp is a nice touch. The Bergman Street is also the first Suzuki scooter in India to get a fully digital instrument console. The layout is clean and uncluttered which makes it easy to read on the go. It consists of a speedometer, odometer, two trip meters, clock and a fuel gauge. This is good level of kit but not as comprehensive as the TVS NTOC 125. One of the aspects of the Bergman Street that will really appeal to the masses is the amount of storage space that it has on offer. It features a cubby hole next to the multi-function key slot that can accommodate a 2-litre bottle. There's also an enclosed glove box under the handlebar which comes fitted with a 12 watt socket while a USB charger is an option. But we would have liked an option to lock this compartment. Under seat storage capacity stands at 21.5 litres, same as the Access 125, which Suzuki claims is the largest in the segment. It also gets aluminium footbag which adds to the scooter's premium factor. Fit and finish quality as expected from Suzuki is impressive. With its snazzy styling and large dimensions, the Bergman Street is an attention magnet. Yes, the rear wheel is a bit small, but it isn't as unproportionate like say the Suzuki Intruder. When you hop on board, you notice that the Bergman Street feels unlike any other scooter on sale. The wide handlebar, tall windscreen and large footboard make the new Suzuki scooter feel premium. Its riding position is upright and comfortable and the Bergman Street gets flexible foot position. This allows you to stretch your legs out and place them on angled footrest molded into the apron. This is a clever addition and it improves comfort, helping make long commutes less tedious. In addition, the long and well padded seat makes this a pillion friendly scooter. Powering the new Suzuki offering is a tried and tested 124cc motor as seen on the Access 125. The air-cooled single pot motor produces 8.7 horsepower and 10.2 Nm of torque. Now, despite weighing 7 kg more than its sibling, the Bergman Street offers peppy acceleration. It also has a strong mid-range which makes overtaking in urban environments a breeze. Engine refinement is good but the engine sounds a bit gruff at higher speeds. This being a short ride, we couldn't test the fuel efficiency of the Bergman Street. However, Suzuki claims a rear-world mileage of 53 kmpl and it has a fuel tank capacity of 5.6 litres. Gladly, the Bergman Street has carried forward the agility of the Axis 125. And despite the new Maxi scooter's large dimensions, you can squeeze it through traffic easily. The disc brake unit at front and the drum unit at the rear do a good job of shedding speed while CBS is standard. Ride is compliant at sensible speeds and the telescopic front fork and monoshock unit do a good job of absorbing bumps. We do have one complaint though and that is with the restyled handlebar. The bar is set lower than that of the axis and if you are a tall rider, the bar ends brush against your knee while taking U-turns.
However, it's nice to see Suzuki taking a different path and offering something exclusive in a market filled with similar looking scooters with rather mundane styling. And exclusivity comes at a price tag and in the Bergman's case at Rs 68,000 ex-showroom Delhi.